Hi everybody, this is Aaron McKeown talking to you today about how I use GarageBand in my songwriting process. Uh, there's a song on my new record, Manifestra, called Proof, and I'm going to take you quickly through the GarageBand demo of it, which on May 13th of 2011 was called Prove It. Um, GarageBand is really great because it allows you to mix um, MIDI with uh, regular sound played right into your computer or pulled off the internet. You can throw any kind of sound sample you want in here. And so this this song actually started with this, um, this drum beat here. Let me go ahead and play it for you. This came from a sound sample that I pulled off of a free music library. Um, I just wanted something that was a, a kick drum and brushes with some atmosphere to it. And uh, what I did here is uh, in GarageBand here you can, you can go right into audio and you can edit. So what you can see here is that I wanted to have two of these. I wanted to add an extra kick drum so I went ahead and pasted it in here and everything in GarageBand is locked to a timeline so it's really easy to do that. So maybe the beat originally went like and I was able to take it in GarageBand and add an extra kick drum there just to give it a little bit of a personal flavor. Now the next thing I did for this song is uh, hook up my MIDI keyboard right into my laptop and, um, and go over here and uh, pick out a MIDI instrument. So you might be playing the keyboard but it can sound like anything you want. And um, I picked this electric tremolo guitar sound and I just started playing chords on the keyboard. And um, eventually came up with a pattern that I liked so it sounds like this. Now again, I played this on a keyboard, so maybe I'm not picking notes that I would usually pick on the guitar, but because it's MIDI, it sounds like a guitar. Now you can look out over the timeline here. At this point in the song, I didn't really know what section I wanted to have happen where. I had no idea what would be a verse or what would be a chorus, but I liked this beat and I liked this pattern on the guitar, so I cut and pasted it. Right? I have this section and this section which are the same, this is a different section, and then these are back to the same section. I just laid that out over the timeline to give a form to the song, something to start thinking about when I want to sing. What I also like about GarageBand is that it allows me to have a whole spectrum of instruments very quickly. So I can have something in the treble of a song, I can have a rhythm, and I can have something in the low end. GarageBand has really great synth basses, so I'm going to fat synth bass sound here just to fill out the bottom end and again give everything a little bit more vibe. Now, the last thing I did for this track was uh, plug my microphone directly into my laptop and uh, start to sing over it. So this was an early version of the chorus for Proof. I did not keep it. I mostly thought of it as a placeholder, and uh, at the end of it you'll hear a more recognizable part of the song. So let me go ahead and show you what the finished version of this sounded like. This tempo uh, here in GarageBand is at 140 set on here but the actual tempo of the song is half that at 70 and um, let me go ahead and show you how it ended up on the record take a photo there's your proof solve a number there's your proof. so it's in a different key and it's much faster but when the drums come in you'll see that they owe something to the demo Similar vibe as the uh, loop that I had set up, but a little bit more human and um, a little bit more played as opposed to looped. And we'll go ahead and fast forward through the songs so you can have an idea of how the chorus ended up turning out. Here we are at the end of the last verse before the chorus. So you can see that's quite different from the demo in that part, but in the verses it's, it's very much the same. Break 
So from GarageBand all the way to the end, I finished a recording with people playing, there's horns, there's strings, all that started out from a very small idea on my laptop. 